workers are very rude. Um, maybe I know your uncle, and maybe you know mine. <laughs> <laughs> I think my, my uncle lives in London. Uh, and I guess, obviously, my aunt, who he is married to, lives there as well. <laughs> She's um, the dean of a college, and I honestly can't remember which college, because I'm a fucking asshole. I've only been to the London airport. I liked it uh, when I visited. I liked it. I thought people were very nice and very funny. Loose. I watched a girl push another girl into a fountain uh, and laugh, and it was hilarious. Um... Lucid is two hours away from London. Heathrow. The airport, right? Yes. It was a layover, so I probably was only there for like an hour. Was that when you went to Saudi? Yeah, one of the times I went back and forth between here and Saudi Arabia. I traveled through Paris a few times as well. And once Ireland to Dublin once. Just the airport. I've been to Paris. I was there for like a couple weeks. It was, uh, it was really beautiful. Um, the food was absolutely incredible. Like, so, like, mind-blowingly good. The dairy products were phenomenal, especially. Um, but yeah, like, people did not like it when they heard me speak English. They did not like it. So I didn't speak I didn't speak that much English while I was there, but sometimes I would forget and speak it. But I mostly spoke French. <laughs> Your nan used to live in Normandy. Beach party forty four <laughs> Sorry. Alright, I'm just gonna do a little a little clean and then uh Yeah, they hate English. Oh yeah, they do. French people are just like, how dare you speak anything but our beautiful, perfect language in our amazing country. Yeah. It's like, I mean, okay, like, it's, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but, like, dang, guys, calm down. It's not that great. I heard a, a story one time where there was this, like, international summit, like, all these countries got together, and they were, they all had to speak English at this summit, you know, because a lot, of mo a lot of people speak English more than not, and uh, the French were like, "Why do we have to speak English? Why can't we speak like something else? Like, why do we have to speak English?" And the Germans were like, "Because America is the reason that you're not speaking German." <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, burn! They despise it because we steal a lot of their fish, and then Spain steals ours. <laughs> Holy shit! I will say like. So the state that we live in, Wisconsin, is called the dairy state because we have a shit ton of cows here. And we always talk about like, oh, our cheese is the best we have in the United States. We have so much cheese. It's pretty bitchin'. So much dairy, blah, blah, blah. Listen, when I went to France and ate their cheese and yogurt and I came back here, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, a lot of our cheese and yogurt tasted like fucking garbage to me. And I was like, oh. California has really good dairies too, and so does and so does New York. And so mm. there are still some brands of American yogurt that, like, fucking twenty years later, I won't eat. I can't. They just taste like shit. They taste like shit because we're used to them tasting like shit. Oh, it's just like it's garbage. It's garbage food. Like cheap yogurt in France is better than like really expensive yogurt here, for the most part, honestly. All right, what are we doing with this chicken? I'm gonna put like just honestly, I'm probably just gonna do garlic, Grants is the onion, cheese country. black pepper, and maybe some of this stuff. Yes. Just sprinkle it on. Sprinkle it on. So here's what we're gonna put on the chicken. <laughs> From Costco. Sponsor me, Costco. Yes, France is the cheese country, so they have expensive taste. But for cheap, so yeah. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Yeah, the food was very good. Like, really, really, really good. I don't I don't know if the wine was good, because I was like, you know, 13, so I didn't drink. And I don't really drink now, so. <laughs> but yeah, man. 
just even like their fucking toast, everything. You should do that right here. So good. Yeah, I believe it. Their food is good. I will say, though, like, I don't know what it is about French teachers in the United States, but, like, every single... And I've had a lot of French teachers, okay? Like, a lot. Beaucoup. <laughs> Plein. <laughs> and, like, they're, as a breed, extremely eccentric people. Very eccentric. I don't know what that, I don't know what that is. Spanish teachers seem like a little more normal. I've had a good amount of Spanish teachers too, but not as many as French teachers. And like, so I'm not saying they're it's good or bad. I've had French teachers. I French teachers I've liked a lot, and French teachers I have really not liked. But all of them are very eccentric. That's fair. I think it's the same. I don't know what it is. I think it just takes like a weird person to want to be like, I want to be so good at French that I can teach school. French to school children that just in America <laughs> just feel like that takes an eccentric person to want to do that <laughs> to be that pompous not necessarily pompous but just like it's a weird thing to want to do for to make money you know so it, wine is good there um we travel there just to buy wine and travel back legit Legit. It would be so, oh man, that's one thing that's so cool about Europe. In the United States, you can drive for hours and hours and hundreds of miles, and you're still in the same fucking country. You're still in, in the same state sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you're still in the same fucking state. Like, I could go drive hundreds of miles, six hours north, and I'm still in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in Europe, it's like, I travel for two hours. I'm in a new country. Holy shit. Am I, uh... My home state is 17 hours away by car. I'm going to put the probe in. All right. And I should have done this when I still had a glove on, but I'll just wait to go out. It's all good. Oh, Maybe man. I'll buy my own. My own gloves. That'd be good. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I always have. <laughs> we used to go to Canada when I was a kid and go drink. Canada, eh? Canada. Just because the drinking age is different, you know? Yeah. All the French exchange students I met were like, we started drinking when we were 13. What are you guys doing? Why don't you drink? And we were like... <laughs> J'adore la langue française. You adore the French language? It's so formal? Yeah. Yeah, it is super formal. It actually has more... It. <laughs> it is a really... Yeah. It's very different from the way Americans speak, which I think is like part of the reason a lot of Americans struggle to learn it, aside from the pronunciation and the crazy amount of silent letters. Like, the I think it's marks. yeah, I think it's more natural for um, British English speakers to learn a little bit, um, but also in my experience, <laughs> Canadians too. In my experience, uh, people from the UK seem a bit more literate and uh just verbally intelligent than americans like y'all's education system is just better it depends on also depends on where in america you're from like that's how i honestly believe that Our <laughs> uh, for your education system Ooh, what part of the country are we gonna rip on <laughs> i mean uh, okay, so I, I grew up in upstate New York, but I had to go to Memphis for a little while and go to school there. Mm -hmm. And then I moved back to New York. And when I got back, I was behind by years. You were like, dang. By years. <laughs> These dumb dumbs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the city I live in, um, our, uh, 
our public school system is like notoriously not good. <laughs> I make fun of it a lot and I can do that because I was in it. <laughs> if you learn in school, then you'll be very intelligent. You learn in the US, do what you're told, get a basic job. Yeah, also just like seriously our school, our education system is so bad. It's it's not It's good. not great. Like I there's people be fucking graduating who can't even read. <laughs> It's so bad. I was a writing tutor at my college, and I would get papers, not just from people getting their undergraduate degree, but also people who were getting their master's. So they have a bachelor's degree already, right? And I'm looking at their paper, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? You can't read. Like, you can't write. You don't know basic grammar. You don't know basic spelling. And you have a fucking computer to help you. Who gave you your degree? This is not all right. Like, tell them to fucking take it back. I've proofread some emails for people. And, and they were it was just like, dude, what? Like, he's like, I don't, I'm easy. This guy told me he didn't know where commas should be. What? Like, how to, like how to properly use a comma. My, uh, I was just like, what, dude? Oh, my God. I Now, to be fair, to devil's advocate myself, I work in manufacturing with a lot of people who are ex very smart. Like, really, really good at, like, mechanical shit. Way smarter than me. But they just suck at writing. Can never get the dumb presidents out of the White House. They're all dumb. Well. And we only have... <laughs> well. <laughs> we don't, There's a two-party system, so it's a popularity contest. The problems. Holy shit. Can you make this, uh... Can you set an alert for 185? Yeah. Thank you. I just, I'm looking so, at it, and I'm like, so I don't, I'm... It's... I'll tell you. It's temperature alert, and then... Oh, okay. And then it's up. I got it, yeah. Turns out, the dark meat, you gotta go further You gotta go further up than 165. Interesting. Yeah, but it's okay because it doesn't overcook as easily because it's fattier. It stays moist. So you just do this. And then when it hits 185, it'll beep. Thank you. Yep. A little tech support from Andy. Killing it. They're, all right. they're all dumb every single one of them we haven't had a good president in many 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 decades yeah it's rough out here the only issue with the uk is we are not afraid to break the law <laughs> what do you mean your citizens because i mean a lot of people here also break the law <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of people who just don't give a shit. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, and I'll, I'll, like, I'll be honest, there's some laws, like jaywalking, I'm like, does this really matter? There's some laws here that are just so stupid. Like, in, in, uh, it's some state, I think it's, I think it's, uh, Georgia that you can't have an ice cream cone in your back pocket on Sunday in church. Oh. It's completely illegal. Well, I mean... But... The, but <laughs> Is that the reason not to put ice cream in your pocket, though? Because it's but against can, the law because it's a bad fucking idea. But no, it's actually illegal. There's also in... I think it's Missouri that you can't tie a giraffe to a lamppost. Oh. But, but it's specific. That in Missouri you can't, or Minnesota, it's it's an M state. <laughs> One of the dumb M states. Right. <laughs> Mississippi, Missouri, whatever. Want to hear the dumbest British law? Uh, hell yes, we do. A lot of us smoke weed when it's illegal, and we speed a lot. Um, yeah, that's pretty common that's over here America. too. That's pretty, yeah, it's pretty spot on. It's illegal to die in the houses of parliament. Uh, okay, so like, what's the punishment if you do it? <laughs> They, like, make a little speech after you, they come to your funeral and are like, you did a bad thing. <laughs> we don't approve of this. <laughs> um, there's, a, there's a bunch of weird ones. There's a book uh, of the weirdest states, or weirdest laws in a... In a uh, in America, in Texas, not Texas, Tennessee, it's uh, illegal to share your Netflix password. You can actually get arrested for doing it. Oh. In, in Tennessee, yeah. Okay, wow. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Go lay down. Nope. Nope. He thinks killers are gonna come in here and... 
Go away. Yeah. Murphy thinks everyone is here to murder me specifically. Yeah, we had a maintenance guy in the house because, you know, if if he was a better dog, you know, we could just let the maintenance guy in here while we were at work, but he would just howl at him the whole time. He's just trying to help. He's just really bad at it. Yeah, he's not great. Go back to chat. Ambience! Ambience! <laughs> Heading anyway. to bowling, but I want to stop in and say hello. Bullshit. Hello. Have Thank a great time bowling. I hope you bowl well. I hope you destroy your enemies. <laughs> I hope you fucking destroy them. Get all the turkeys. <laughs> a lot of it's steel over here. Like, take half of the U.S. That's, like, take half of the what? That's how many thieves we have here. What are we cooking today? So... We just put some chicken thighs in the oven with a bunch of just like random seasoning on it. And now we're making mystery soup. And we're doing our snack box unboxing. Yes, I forgot about that. Yep, mystery soup is just gonna be, I'm trying to make squash soup that Andy can eat um, because squash is one of the foods that he can eat but it has to be cooked in the right way, like really, really soft and also taste good. Let's do Zweibels. Okay. Can we yeah. open this yeah. Weibels? Oh, well, yeah, let's open these German Funyuns. Looks like they're like, they're German Oh, yeah, Funyuns. they're German Funyuns. They're, That's all they they are. are Funyuns. That's so fun. Zweibels. <laughs> and our country I gotta be careful like... with these because I think that they're corn. Okay. Yeah, these are... So, yeah, about 45% of the population are thieves. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I like Funyuns better. I like these better. Yeah. Yeah, it is corn. Corn, you're right. And there is some dairy in it. But... Yeah. I'm just. I want a couple, and then yeah. I'm done. These are good. Mm. You don't like either, no. or either. I, I really like onions, so. Except for cutting them. Every time I cut an onion on stream, I end up, like, sobbing. It's fucking embarrassing. But you're special. We are all special. In our own way. This is the goblin way. Wow. Take these away from me. I'm gonna get myself in trouble. And I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Legit. It be like that sometimes. Um, by the way, if you haven't already... You should go follow Ambient. Oh, yeah. Follow Ambient. Um, he's a great streamer. Great streamer. You don't know if you like these chips. Why is that? Oh, stop. No, you deserve it, buddy. Why wouldn't you like these chips? You're welcome, buddy. Destroy. Destroy your I don't, enemies. I, bowling. Have to, I have to be careful. I'm sorry, what? I was just yelling. Yeah, I have to be careful with chips, though, because the, uh... Sodium. Because of the sodium. I, so I have to be careful. I love Funyuns, man. I miss Funyuns so much. Yeah, we just tried these, like... Ger they it's the German. breath afterwards, it's though. German Funyuns. Yeah, German Funyuns. They were good. I liked it. But I really like onions. Um, they're good. We okay. have... We have these... <laughs> These ketchup fries, too. Yeah. Like, that's confusing to me. You call crisps chips. It's so annoying. <laughs> See, these are potato. Yeah. Nice. And the sodium content is not that large in this. They also have a lot less calories. Holy shit. I don't think I like them. Yeah, I'm not really crazy about, like, junk food in general anymore. I feel like it's just not worth the calories for how they taste. You know, I have to eat so much to feel full, and then I've eaten, like, 8 billion calories, and I'm like, well, that wasn't worth it, and I'm going to be hungry in, like, an hour. I smoked a lot of weed when I was younger, so, like, <laughs> Funyuns were good when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I was younger and I, like, didn't really understand how getting fat worked, um, I would just, like, eat anything in the <laughs> largest quantities I possibly could find, uh... How did I get fat? What a mystery. Anyway. When you get a bad food, just go back to the wafers. Yes. Yeah. If I don't eat them all. 
Just save me one more of those. I'll eat it tomorrow. You can have the rest if you like. There is two left. Wow, they, this man's out of control. Out of control. Eating my wafers. They're yours. The rest of them are yours. <laughs> the wafers are, are, were, were, were good. We like the wafers. We have a couple other things we got to do, though, too. All right, I got to work on this. You know what we can do? You make some sandwiches for work tomorrow. Yeah, let's do that. How about you do that while I make the soup? You do that, and I'll do this. All right. So here's the squash I'm putting in the soup. Um... Vanilla wafers. Oh my god. Ambient. They were actually cinnamon almond cream wafers, and they were fucking incredible. So good. Like, here, look, go. You can show the wrapper. Yeah. Almond cinnamon. They were so good. I love cinnamon. I am a fucking whore for cinnamon. It's so good. With a teal, with a teal packaging. Oh yeah, <laughs> shit. Ambient. The teal cookies. New team name? New gaming team name, Ambient? The Teal Cookies? <laughs> teal, wa teal Wafers. The Teal Wafers. We'll workshop it. We'll workshop it. <laughs> I love cinnamon, too. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's so good. <laughs> Hydrate. Hydrate. All right, I'm going to show the squash. This is... Here's your... Thank you. Thank you, baby. Mm. This is just from the frozen section at Walmart. Yes, a very a, a very American store, Walmart. The most American of all yes. stores, the teal wafers. <laughs> <laughs> Take another sip. Who, me or her? Me. Um, I'm gonna make my the teal wafers in real life. <laughs> That's tough. I would buy I would buy merch for the teal wafers. <laughs> <laughs> dyslexia does not help. I don't have my kid has dyslexia, for sure. So I'm just gonna make myself some sandwiches for the road tomorrow. The road. I will always say the road like that after watching Jay and Silent Bob's uh, reboot. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's obnoxious. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Look at this. It says, say hello to my little friend. Can you see it? There it is. Roadhouse. We should do Roadhouse for movie night. Yeah, I love that movie. It's so, so funny. Only, only because Patrick Swayze takes a karate gi and tucks it into his jeans with no underwear. Uh, my other favorite it's karate casual. My, <laughs> my other favorite part is the female lead wearing that insanely bizarre and dorky, like, dress that looks like a, a picnic basket yeah it looks like the fucking like we put this down like a fucking tablecloth that you would take to, kelly lynch to a picnic it's embarrassing like bro how why about how about you wear that how about you always know when shit's about to go down when sam elliott puts his hair in a scrunchie you know shit's about to happen yeah dude he like bunches that shit up <laughs> i can finally get rid of all my hair ties because now my hair is short, and I'm so happy about it. I hate long hair. It looks so good at other people, and then I'm like, I'm going to grow my hair out. And it's fucking miserable, and I hate every second of it. And then I cut it again, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so happy. I'm never growing my hair out again. And in a year, I'll forget <laughs> and do it again. She really hates having the long hair. Like, literally, anything. Anything to do with my hair. Brushing my hair. Washing my hair. My hair touching me? Oh my god. I hate it when my hair touches me. I It just makes me want to burn the house down with me inside it. It feels so horrible. I hate it so much. You're going to grow your hair out again? I'm, oh, I bet you would look so cute with long hair. I'm growing mine. It's getting there. I support this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh my god. When I was a kid, I, I legit have hair trauma. Like, I had really long, really thick hair, and my parents just 
wouldn't cut it for some reason. And I basically, on, on a regular basis, was Ooh, chased around the that? house with a comb, screaming. <laughs> I'm not lying. Like, way past, like, the age when it was appropriate. Um, to, so that my hair could be brushed out. And the whole time, it was just, like, me fucking screaming and being like, No! Stop! You see don't! this? Avocado oil mayonnaise. It's the only mayonnaise I eat. It's the best. Um, Regular mayonnaise has soybean oil and it's inflammatory. Um, yeah, and my parents would always fucking... Te I guess they thought this whole production was like real fucking funny and they would always tease me and be like, When you get older, you're gonna want long hair and you're gonna brush your hair for the boys. Well, look at me now, mom and dad. Mm -hmm. No, I fucking won't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even own a comb. <laughs> Suck it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but for real, fuck you, mom and dad. Why didn't you cut my hair, you fucking idiots? It's it's a real it's a really uh, it's really traumatic, actually. So yeah, I'm just gonna make uh, make myself lunches for the road. Tomorrow might be my last day going down or up to Appleton. What am I doing? What am I looking at here? I don't know. I looked in this fridge for this fucking chicken base like four times and fucking forgot what I was trying to get. You, you want pointers, Zambian? We can help you out, man. Because I, I had to I completely uproot my entire life two years ago. My diet was actually killing me. Uh because of the Crohn's disease. Yeah, and also, I grew up with, like, insanely unhealthy eating habits um, and basically had to relearn how to eat like an adult. Uh, fun fact, I actually gave myself type 2 diabetes when I was, like, 18, 19. Um, yeah. And I uh, did some research and was like, oh, this is my fault. So then I stopped doing that, and uh, boom, no more type 2 diabetes also... No more being a fat ass, which is great. I'm all about it. I fucking love food. I love talking about healthy eating. I will literally talk to you about healthy eating for as long as you want, whenever I am available. <laughs> Have you had this ma this mustard? It's mustard with taco seasoning in it. No joke. It's good. It's bitchin'. It's sweet, too. It's not, like, mustardy at all. It's just sweet. Shut up, dude. It's it's amazing. It's not hot. It's it's very sweet. And it's... It says heat. Uh, it says southwest hot. It's not hot. It's... I'm gonna do a soup spotlight. Yeah. It's a very sweet mustard. So that's my... So I'm just making turkey sandwiches with avocado oil mayonnaise and Southwest mustard. So the next thing I'm putting in my soup is this shit better than bouillon. Did you say bouillon? Bouillon. Actually, it's bouillon. <laughs> I just, uh... Yeah. This shit is amazing. It's, like, one of my, like... Bouillon? Yeah, bouillon. Uh, it's one of my favorite ways to just, like, add flavor to food uh, without adding a shit ton of calories. And, like, seriously, chicken or beef base, or even, like, vegetable base, is, like... It makes your food taste so much more like restaurant food. People will be like, oh, wow, why does this have so much flavor? It's just this shit. <laughs> it's so good. How's the sodium in that? I mean, it's not really different from using stock. Okay. Plus, I'm also adding a liter of almond milk. Okay. Okay. And there's already a liter of water in it. Okay. I'm just, cur I'm just curious. I have to watch my salt intake. I promise you I'm going to salt this, this shit after, like... I'm going to add salt to this when I eat it. You're, when not, you, gonna, you're like, not going to be like, oh, this is crazy healthy. I'm not making it like... Okay. I'm going to add salt to my portion. I'm not making it crazy healthy. Okay. What, like, the ingredients are super, super watery, so you actually can add quite a bit of salt. Because okay. an individual serving won't have a great amount. Salt is very inflammatory for me. Like, my, my hands 
dude will like swell. Like you could see physical huge like lumps on my hands if I have too much salt. It's disgusting. And then I'm literally like, I don't have a recipe. I'm making this soup out of ingredients we have in the house. And I'm just going to see if it turns out. I don't know if it will. That happens. That's what I do every time I make anything. <laughs> so now I'm putting in Kirkland almond milk. I drink almond milk. Um, I use it to like make protein shakes and just like cool my coffee down a little bit. And flat out, if you just drank cow's milk, like yesterday, this is not going to taste good. I'll be honest with you. If you haven't drank cow's milk in like a month, you'll be like, oh, this is all right. So, Dude, I made Marsala with this, and it was fucking amazing. Yeah. It's a potato. Ooh. It's a potato. It's hollow. It's a potato french fry. And it's ketchup flavored. I love it. I love this. This is so good. This is... These are better than the, the we had a ketchup chip last time and it yeah. wasn't as good. As Those this. suck. These are amazing. Yeah, I like these. Give me salty goodness. Yeah, this was all in the snack box. Yeah, uh, the box is called Mystery Yums. Oh, mm. Sorry, Universal Yums. Oh my god, so good. So, uh, there's different tiers. But the idea is that every month you get a different country. They choose the country. So last month was Italy. This month was Germany. And they just send you, you know, like five or six items from that country. For like, it's like 13 bucks a month or something. It's fun. It's something that, you know, we started and we're like, you know, we can just do this on stream once a month. Oh, wow, so good. Okay. I'm done. The rest are for you. Yeah, ma'am. I'm trying to branch out our streams, try different shit. If it didn't work, it doesn't work. But at least, you know, we're trying fun snacks from around the world. If people like it, they like it. If yeah. they don't, worst, fuck it. Worst case scenario, we still ate snacks. We, yeah, that's it. So yeah. Man, we are barreling through this almond milk. I'm excited tomorrow. I'm gonna barrel through that fucking Snyder cup. Like it's my job. <laughs> people express doubt that Andy could watch all four hours of the Snyder Cut. I'm gonna day. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. But I think with my support, he can get there. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I will pass him snacks and he'll make it. Four hours of Batman. I'm gonna do it. Alright, here. I want my I have to be the first person to do it that I know. Well I appreciate you being here, Ambient, if you haven't already. Um, go check out Ambient again. We love you, buddy. Have a great time. Get some turkeys. And, and this is where I do this again. We love you, buddy. Gobble, gobble's right. I appreciate the lurk. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh my god. Take these fucking things away from me. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Uh, you want to soup spotlight me? Yeah. I'm going to just... All right. Onion. Onion powder. This is the form of onion that Andy can eat. So we just get the flavor. It's actually really not easy to find. It's not as easy as you think it'd be. Yeah. I don't even remember where... Oh, I Cermak. That's where I finally found this. Yeah, see, I've never even heard of that store. I love Cermak. Oh, my God. If you have a Cermak near you, go to it. It's the shit. A little bit of low sodium soy sauce. Yeah, I just want that like umami flavor. A lot of sodium still in that low sodium. You know, th this is like, <laughs> dude, fuck this is like you. Two, two liters of liquid. You know. I just, I'm careful. 
pretty serious about that diet. All right. Garlic. Bunch of garlic. You can never have too much garlic. Fuck no, you can't. They were. I mean, they're soft now. This is, like they're thawing in this. No, they're. I mean, they're all. They're soft. Um, okay. So we're gonna cook them. We're just gonna let that simmer more, and then once they're all super soft, I'm gonna hit it with an immersion blender. Okay. And so taste. It'll, so it'll blend it. Oh yeah, we're gonna emulsify this bitch, and then I'm gonna taste it and adjust the seasoning. Okay. Also, I have to put butter in. Okay. Very good. Very good. What are you guys having for dinner? What are you having for dinner, Lucid? Tell me. Talk to me. What did you have for dinner? It's later there than it is now. Oh, shit. So that's the butter I'm using. It's badass butter. It's delicious. I get it at Costco. Sponsor me, Costco. <laughs> Would I like ciabatta bread with my soup? Yes. Yes. Great. Garlic bread? Can we make it garlic bread? Yes, we can. Yeah. Garlic bread for garlic soup. Yeah. Not too much garlic. Hell no, there's not. Not enough garlic, if you ask me. Damn straight. If you ask me. And I did, in fact, ask you. <laughs> <laughs> it was your opinion that was solicited. I'm just going to put this whole ass thing of butter. <laughs> yeah. I say do it. And then that's going back in the fridge. I got it. Okay. Well, shit, yeah, that smells good. I can smell it from here. I can't wait to put it in my body. Oh. All right. Oh, that chicken's close. Yep. How long is our stream been going? Uh, almost an hour? Good. Yeah, almost an hour. That's why I used the big pan so I could really spread it out, with you know, so it would cook faster. I'm thinking. So I have to move to use my brain. What do you What do you need to do? <laughs> You're such a dork. Oh, I'm a dork that you love. Yeah. <laughs> what do you need? Babe? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, I'm kind of deciding if I want to put like a tiny bit of black pepper and cayenne in here. Okay. I'm gonna hate this marzipan. Okay, then don't eat it. No, I'm gonna try. I want to try it just I, out of solidarity. I want to try everything out of the box I can. Don't swallow it. No, I want to try it. But don't swallow it. I think it has chunks. Chunks of... I feel like it's a, like a cream. It looks like a cream. Okay, well, if there are chunks, you promise me you'll spit it out. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Like, I don't think I can eat this rhubarb one. The rhubarb actually sounds good to me. Because I actually love strawberry rhubarb, even though I don't approve. Of milk chocolate. How white, many, how white, many, it's white or, chocolate. Yeah, white chocolate. I also don't approve of milk chocolate. Fucking dark chocolate only. Dark chocolate forever. There's 300 calories in this whole bar. Then don't eat Why it. are you so rude? I'll eat a bite of it. How dare you? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably eat it in like... In, in, in units of two or three. Let's do this one. Oh my god. I think I can smell it and it's really good. Let's try this one. Okay. Looks like a little turd. <laughs> oh, small. I want small. Yeah, it's it's cr it's all like creamy. Okay, all right. Hmm. 
See, it's the dark I don't like. That's what I like. If it didn't have the dark chocolate, I wouldn't want it. There's your timer. Mm. Let's do it another deal. Okay. Just to be sure. I don't like taking things in and out. It's like the one thing in like the like the um, like the box of chocolates that I'm like. Ugh. I love dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, anything. Mm. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that's. Uh. I didn't like that one. But I don't really usually go in for sweets. I like... I like savory things. I like sweet foods if they have a strong bitter or sour component. You know what I mean? So like... Dark chocolate. Yes. Uh, or like a sour fruit. Yes, but like milk chocolate, vanilla ice cream, um, vanilla cakes, they're like okay, but it's just like kind of a boring flavor to me. Yeah. Uh. All right, so my next thing I want to do, actually, I have a thing. I'm gonna grate this cheese so you can sprinkle it on your soup. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that 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 gouda? That's the manchego. That's the manchego. At the very least, I'm gonna cut the rind off. Okay. Cause I feel like it. Ha ha! Wash the cutting board? No, just turn it over. <laughs> Oh, this is the goat gouda. Uh, which do you prefer, manchego or goat? Goat. Okay. I like the sharpness of it. Actually, can I have a piece of that? Yeah, you can. I don't want to... Wait a minute, minute, minute. This man is obsessed with cheese. He's obsessed with my goat cheese. There you go. It is, like, crazy good. Yeah, I'm going to make... I want to make... Alfredo <laughs> out of it. Goat Alfredo. Goat Fredo. That's what I want to do. It's a goat Gouda. People. Yeah, it's actually really good. It's from Costco. Sponsor me, Costco. It's very sharp. I like really sharp cheeses. Fuck out of here with this bland bullshit. I didn't used to like sharp cheese as a child. I always have. I, dude, this is how much of a natural fat ass I am. I used to try to snatch the block of cheese from my father and like audio and like run away and eat it. Thank you for those biddies. Hey, buddy. audio. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the biddies. How you doing, buddy? I see you. We love when you're here. Yeah, we're so glad to have you. What did you have for dinner? What are you making for dinner? Oh my god, More thank bait. you. Thank you so much. Now, what did you have for dinner, buddy? I want, I want, we need to use the manchego. It's older. Okay. We should use that. Okay. The manchego is good, too. Yeah. So we're making chicken thighs and mystery soup. And by mystery soup, I mean it's uh, some soup I'm trying to make for Andy with uh, in ingredients in the house. I don't know how it's going to turn out. So it's squash. It's got some garlic, um, some bouillon, the buffalo chicken, and steak bomb calzone. What? That's what, that's buffalo chicken and steak bomb calzone is what he said. Oh my God. Buffalo chicken and well, steak. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Um, and we're also doing our snack box um, unboxing, which we've eaten most of it by now. <laughs> but we still have some of the things left. Actually, we have everything. The box is from Germany. So the snacks are from Germany. So we have these 
cinnamon almond wafers. They were um, they were the best. They were so good. I think the flavors would clash, but they enhance. Interesting. I kind of want to try Audio Graves cooking, and by kind of, I mean I really want to try Audio Graves cooking. Um, enhanced. Enhanced. <laughs> we had uh, some German. Um, looks like uh, funyuns. They're like a funyun. They were good. I liked I, them. I like funyuns more. I like the German version better. Uh, we had this. It's a potato roll chip thing. I These were amazing. I love these. I like it. It looks like a ZD noodle, Dude. kind of. A potato-shaped ZD noodle. Did I show you guys my nachos from the other night? No, you didn't. Please show us. Yeah, you didn't show us shit from your nachos. We asked... All I want is food pictures for my goblin children. We also have a strawberry rhubarb chocolate bar. White chocolate. Sorry. Yeah. And we haven't done this one yet. It's a rice, crunchy rice, crunchy rice uh, chocolate thingy. All right. That's some manchego. Now I'm going to do some grate, some grating. This needs some. Oh, thank you. This needs to be turned down. Yeah. And then, okay, this is definitely done. We can take the chicken out. Dude, shut up. Gonna do a spotlight on the chicken thighs. Stay. Uh, so yes, I will be eating a metric fuck ton of chicken thighs over the next couple days, and I'm looking forward to it. Dude, lay down. He hears noises outside, so he's like. We gotta kill it! The robbers! The murderous robbers! Don't you guys understand the danger we're in? Ah. We had a we had a maintenance guy in the house when when I got home. He was just howling. Yeah, he screamed for like an hour while the maintenance guy was here. I ignored him. It looks awkward to keep that camera in the right place. Yeah, it is a little bit not too bad. It's definitely um not made to be this way, but like, you know, it works for what we need. You sent pics to the Discord? Ooh, girl. Oh, those nachos look amazing. Holy shit, dude. I'm gonna fuck those nachos. Sorry, just kidding. Ooh, lucid joint. Please join our Discord and uh, share your food pictures. Yeah, I, 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 I want to see them. I don't have that set up. That fucking... Here. Let me see. I gotta make that Discord thing happen. Give me, a, give me one second. Bear with me. I'm gonna add a little flour to the soup. And then I'm gonna hit it with an immersion blender. Yes, this is how I keep my flour in a shopping bag, in another bag. Don't worry about it. Shut up. I'm going to freaking kill him. Fight people. He's looking at me like, God, I'm just trying to help. Edit invite link. Never expire. Copy.
Alright, I'm adding it right now. All right, try it now, but do it with the Discord. Oh, you did it. Nachos were 18 bucks. Well, at least I have the command in now. Holy shit. But like, how long did they last? How many people did they feed? All right, so this is my trusty immersion <clears throat> blender had this thing for a really long time. I don't use it often, but it is really nice to have. You sent food picks. All right. All right. We're going to look at the food picks. Going deep. Yeah. <laughs> He's No. That looks really good. I like this fucking thing, audio. You and Stud, uh, two top shelf Long Island ice teas. All right, we're going to move over here. He thinks I'm murdering Katie with the immersion blender. Yeah, I think he does. He's constantly like, what are you doing to her? Yeah. It's a chicken gyoza stir fry. Oh, my God. Fuck yes. Oh, my God. I love chicken. I love gyoza. Love it. Nachos were amazing. Queso, sour cream, pico, <laughs> jalapenos. Chicken, chili, and a brisket in that in that chili or er, in that yes. in the nachos. Fuck. He's fine. He's just thinks everybody's getting murdered without him. He needs to be involved somehow. That looks so good. I hope it's good. You gotta thicken it a little. Yeah, we just need to keep adding uh, flour, I think. Yeah. Um, your dunk made pork chops with Alfredo and cheese sauce, mushrooms, and broccoli. Fuck! I miss pork so much. Um, had some vegetable spring rolls on the side, about as thick as sausage, and as long as a pencil, and I had eight of them. I love spring rolls. I don't like the veg the veggie ones, but, um, man, I, I loved, I love Asian food. We frequent a sushi burrito place here quite often. I'm getting that this weekend. What? Sushi burrito. We're gonna sushi burritos. Yes, that's happening. I don't know if I'm gonna feel well enough to go. You don't have to go. Okay, Sorry. I'm getting my COVID vaccine on Friday. I just can't eat them, man. It's just it's just bad for me. Yes, dude. Sushi burritos. Sushi burrito. It's like a just one giant roll that you just like insert into your face. Like a burrito. American style. Yeah, well, I'll take a picture. If Katie goes to bring it, we I know that I've posted the burrito on, on Discord before. Probably just in its package. It's deep. I'm deep digging. There. 
It's still in the package, but. Um, COVID vaccine is two shots. Yeah, I'm only doing the first one. I feel like my arm weighs a thousand pounds. Make you stay there for a, a hour after the shot to make sure you're okay. I'm not worried. I've I've been very. I'm. I was in the military, man. I'm very vaccinated. I got smallpox. I've gotten anthrax. I've gotten. I've gotten. I got a lot of shit done. So, I'm. I know. I think I'll be okay. I know I'm gonna feel like shit, but I'm not scared of it. I sent more food pics that will make you hungry. God, everything makes me hungry. Made this a few nights ago. It's Cantonese style lemon chicken. Isn't that fucking beautiful. I don't really like lemon, but that looks great. I love lemon. It's got scallions and sesame seeds. Oh in it. shit, that looks so good. Your sauce looks really good too. Like you got like it. Nice and thick and like, like a, a thick glaze. Hashtag too thick. Your wife has both shots and she was pregnant. Uh, yeah, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I get, I get, uh, every other, every two months, I have to get an infusion done. I, I'm fine with, with needles and shots and I'm so used to it now. Has to be thick and yellow. There you go. Oh man. Thick and yellow. That chicken looks bitchin'. Yes. It's gonna be real good. Can we uh can we do this? You have tattoos and piercings, but you hate needles. You know that's a it's a different kind of uh, different kind of pain, man. I I've had piercings before, but I I'm, I'm very I'm pretty tattooed. Mm -mm. No, you don't want to take it apart. No, microwave it first. Just a little bit, and then it'll come apart. Oh, thank you for the biddies, buddy. I appreciate you. Then it's very much. Am I just want to microwave this? Yeah. The wave. The micro. What happened on the paper plate? Ooh. Yeah, I put them off. I got them off the table. I tried to like, you know, rearranging that. Oh, I'm gonna put a little white wine in there. Ooh, do that. More biddies. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, just keep the just food Discord page open. Let's look. <laughs> This is such a fucking oh my god American thing. So it looked like plated. Oh my god. Are you a professional food photographer? Fuck that chicken. Like the presentation is great. Oh man, I drink that jug in one night. <laughs> jug of what? Mom, is that you? Oh, the wine. <laughs> Mother? Just like cooking and you're a perfectionist. That's fair. We like cooking too, we are not. I'm not a perfectionist though. Not a perfectionist. These are really tough. It's not just frozen. It's like... Working with flowers. Do you want me to do that? Yes. You do this. I'll do that. Give me an impression. Do it now. Oh no, he spun the wheel. Oh, right. <laughs> you gotta give me. 
Let me just get this flour mixed in. Don't ignore me. Let us mix the flour and then he'll do it. This is a very delicate <laughs> cooking operation audio. Oh no, I didn't. I had the wheel up. I gotta. Here, I gotta get the spin going. The spin is on a different page, which is. I can't figure out how to get the spin on the page. Here we go. Spin wheel. There's the spin. Edward Furlong. <laughs> All right. I can only do Eddie Furlong from Terminator 2. It's, uh, you can't just go around killing people. <laughs> So I hope you like that. All right. I'm gonna grate some of this cheese. Devastator. Is your Jeremy Irons like Man in the Iron Mask or say from Die Hard? It's more like, uh, it's 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 just a general Jeremy Irons. It's it's not J Jeremy Irons pretending to be Brit or a German. I'll tell you that it's just Jeremy Irons, in general. It's you know, Alfred. Uh, you know, Rodrigo Borgia. When I was a kid, the idea, doing, idea of why I wanted acting to be the thing I do for the rest of my life was different. It was, oh yeah, I'll get girls and be famous. <laughs> um, yeah, you should leave food open because I'm going to post a lot. I like to take food pics. Well, you, we welcome them. Yeah, I love seeing pictures of people's food. Like, I genuinely love it. Every time someone posts pictures of food, even if it's, like, not good, I'm like, yeah! <laughs> I've just decided I want to grate this cheese. Why? I don't know. I just do. Oh, you told me you were going to grate it a while ago. That's a furlong quote? Wow. What's one? I guess what the audiogram said when I was a kid, the idea of why I wanted to, acting to be the thing I do for the rest of my life was different. Ooh, it's a bad look. That dude's a mess now. I mean, I, I hope he's gotten his shit together, but. The last thing I saw him in was the Green Hornet movie. And he's got that, like, that bit bard as a, as a like, a meth dealer. Like a guy, like the meth cook. And oh. He, like, he, like, it's believable. You know what I mean? Like. Yikes. This flour is clumping in here. Dude, I know. I, I hate working with flour. I hate I, it. I would have used cornstarch. I think cornstarch is appropriate for, um, sauces, but not like a soup. I don't know. Yeah, I've watched Green Hornet so many times. I've never seen it. Am I missing out? It's not great. Um, I genuinely like the Green Hornet TV show from the 60s, but it's like never in syndication. But I've seen quite a bit of it. Uh, Flower is so messy. Yeah, dude, it is. It's just like... It's not that it's messy. The it's fucking... Just, it's clumping. It's the fucking cleanup dust. That's what it is. Like, hey, did you want to spend an extra 20 minutes cleaning up today? Work with flour. Fuck you, flour. I'm almost done. I've almost done it. 
um, make a roux, a roux, roux. <laughs> yeah, that's what I should have done from the beginning. I should have done a roux. It's yeah. R- it's R O U X, I believe. More foodie picks. I uh, don't have my phone in front of me. Sorry, my hands are. We will look in a second. My hands are. This smells so good. Yes. I feel like these clumps are gonna piss me off. Well. have to they're, they're you can melt them in there's just so many of them yeah this is definitely should have been rude well now we know yeah i'm not mad i'm gonna try to do my best and try to get it get them knocked out okay we can always hit it with the immersion blender again yeah if need be it's easy to clean. I'm going to press the clumps against the, the wall. All right. Now we have grated cheese. A Wisconsin staple. I'm passionate as a cook. You can tell by my pigs. Yeah, man. I'm passionate as an eater. <laughs> I'm going this off. I'm passionate in making food that I'm actually able to eat. Eating is my passion. I think I did a good job breaking them up. Fuck yeah. For the most part. It's got some in there, but... Let's look at these picks. Oh man, spicy pork ramen. Wonderful presentation, too. Um, yeah, we have the immersion blender. We, I got. I think I got it out. The flour. Passionate about on eating than sleeping. Absolutely. Electric tools are making people too lazy. I mean, or innovative. I've seen. I've seen people. Have you ever seen the 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 guy with the cordless drill? Uh, he put like a to- like a brand. He went to the hardware store, got a toilet brush, like from the hardware store, and he um, put all of his potatoes in a five gallon bucket with the toilet brush on the end of a drill, and it and it and it took all the skin off the potatoes. Legit. In like in like seconds. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, it's it's cool looking. Okay. I don't like the way that looks. It's just frozen. Okay. It's just that it's frozen. See, it's already like it's already like going away on this one because oh. it's a thinner piece and it's thawing. Okay. And like, it smells good. Okay. I promise you, like, once we put a little olive oil and garlic on this, you'll be like, weird frozen spot who? (laughs) Fair. Oh, man. Do you want to do the next chocolate bar? Yeah. So, from our... What are you doing? Yeah, how did you get out of here? This little asshole. No. So from our German box today, uh, the last item we're going to try is this crunchy crunchy rice chocolate bar. The box is from Universal Yums. Kick rocks, kiddo. Her we monthly subscription box from around the world. This month's theme is Germany, so we have this 
Oh my god. Smell this. Whoa. It's got a really like toffee type of buttery smell. It smells like like a nougat or like a very like dairy. It's buttery. Yeah, like a very dairy it like, smell. Like popcorn. Very weird. You want to try this and see if I can eat it? Yeah. One sec. All right. Here's what we got. It smells good, but I don't think I can... It's... Ooh. I just don't think I could eat. I yeah, there's like whole grains in there. Okay, I'm not doing it. Yeah. It smells good, but I don't think I could eat a whole thing. It's it's very rich. It mm. smells really sweet. A lot of it is actually just like cereal. It's like puffed whole grains. Yeah. Which you can't smell very much. It's not bad. Yeah, I just got to stay away from that grain. That's the European nougat. Mm. It surprised me. It's better than I thought it would be. Okay. There you go. It's because it's less sweet than an American candy bar. I liked the wafer, and I liked these damn chips. Oh, yeah, those were so good. I'm going to put this weird candy bar away so I can slowly eat it over the course of the week. There we go. Oh, ma'am. Can I put some of this on that? Uh, yeah, it's for that, and then I was gonna do garlic, and then top it with cheese. Garlic. Okay. Can I put more olive oil on? Is that on? Sure. Yeah. Just a little bit. Good God. <laughs> I like oils. No, I mean, it's good for you. I'm, it's not, I'm not mad. I'm just like, oh, God, so many calories. All right. Garlic. Holds the sauce. Oregano. Because I know you like oregano. Could be oregano. It's obviously the devil's lettuce. Or, 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 oregano. Oregano. The, or, or, well, how did I say it? It's from the movie Night Before. Uh, Michael Shannon. Sit. He, uh, he, when he's buying drugs from Michael Shannon. It's oregano. Argano. All right. Your Italian grandmother would beat me if I used spaghetti. Like the word spaghetti? I'm half Italian myself. You know what we're going to do with that, that leftover pasta and the shredded cheese tomorrow? Hmm. And have macaroni and cheese. The what? Pasta and the shredded cheese? Yeah. I'm does, gonna make macaroni and cheese. Does that not sound like macaroni and cheese to you? That's what it sounds like to me. Alright. Well, I was gonna. I, yeah, we can do that. We can make that this weekend. With almond milk? We'll practice our roux. Practice. <laughs> make the, a cheese sauce. I wanna make. I really wanna do Alfredo next week. Oh, spaghetti for the bolognese. The bolognese. I've never had a uh, bolognese, or I've never made it, and I really want to learn. I really want to learn how. Uh, so yeah, you have to use something that's gonna grip the pasta better, like a like a like a spiral. Yeah, I think this looks nice and uh, thickened. I think you did it. Put Your this. spaghetti in the food picks. I like spaghetti 
spaghetti for like... Right, that's, that's what I was saying. It doesn't hold the sauce properly. I think spaghetti noodles are best for soup. I, I think it's the worst noodle. I like to slurp them out of soup. It's, I enjoy it. Like, I, I, I need something that's going to grab it. They're serious about your heritage. So serious. Results in me getting hurt. See, my, my mom would use uh, spaghetti for everything. But, I don't know. My, my kids won't try different types, different shapes of noodle. They're, they think they, there's, they're different. Oh my oh, God, yeah, Harna. Harna. Thank you so much, Harna. I appreciate you. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. I have my, my, uh, say hello to my little friend. Yeah, thank you for that, doing that shout out. I appreciate it. Harna, how you I, doing, buddy? I have nothing. I have nothing St. Patrick's related. And I, I am, I, I have some Irish heritage, but you know, for me, it's like ridiculous. I think to claim any, any heritage to any place besides the United States, because I am so mixed and both sides of my family have been in the States for so long. Yeah. So long. What's everybody having for dinner? Pincher. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> She isn't wearing green, you're correct. She's not very festive. No, not if it involves me getting pinched. <laughs> Fuck this. No, you got pinched because you weren't wearing green. Got a pincher. I did. And not and she said ow. Um If you need your country if you don't wear green, it's a slap. You put the feet up, have a good stream. I appreciate you, Harna. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Uh, and the biddies. I love you. Bro. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're literally just waiting for the garlic bread. <laughs> be getting into a fight. <laughs> yeah, it sucks like to get slapped. Yeah, I can imagine. Is it real though? Like if you go to work, they just start Wait, people actually slap you if you don't wear green? <laughs> like at work and stuff? <gasps> Holy shit. I don't. Nobody at my work today even realized it was St. Patrick's Day. Well, it's you know. No one knew. It's COVID. Yeah, I guess we aren't really supposed to be touching each other during the times of COVID. You know. You get into it. How you doing? It's okay. You're a little late. We um. We're coming to a close with the cooking part, but we, uh, we're going to eat soon. Um, and we did our entire snack box already. But yeah, we're going to eat in a little bit. We're going to chat and talk to you guys. I'm going to... What do you got, babe? Uh, I'm just going to cut some, slice some chicken for my lunch tomorrow. I'm gonna get a real plate. Actually, no. Oh yeah. Actually, no. Actually, <laughs> actually, I want chicken. Do you want a bowl? Um. For your soup. Yeah. But probably a smaller bowl. I like. I ate a lot of snacks. I don't like that one. Here you go. Okay. Like I said, there are wild animals here. Oh, you're talking about the people. I thought you were talking about the, the, uh, they're act like literal wild animals. Yep. Sorry, babe. I'll take this. So I made a bunch of roasted, like, vegetables and chickpeas yesterday. Because I knew I was cooking these today, so I'm going to put these with my fucking roasted vegetables and shit and just take that to work and eat it like two or three times. Just because. Just because I can. We're going to be cheap. We're going to use... Our dishwashers currently need to be ran, so we're going to use plastics. Yeah. 
We couldn't run it because we had no hot water. Yeah. But it's, we have hot water now. It should be it should be okay now. Yeah, when I used the sink, it was all good. It's hot now? Yeah. Very good. The maintenance guy saved the day. In spite of what Murphy thought about him. <laughs> the ca- snack box is not from Costco. It's Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I upgraded my membership today to the, <laughs> like the more expensive membership. It's from a website called Universal Yums. Universal, I'll type it. Universal Yums. And their snacks are I, legit amazing. I didn't type anything just now. <laughs> so try that. Perfect. Almost 12 a.m. Ooh. You got to work tomorrow? What is everyone else having for dinner? What do you need, babe? What do you want? I, I want to set this down. You need space. Just, just call out. That's your bowl. This is my bowl. We need a bigger kitchen. Yeah, we do. Oh my god, that almost all fell on me. Ooh, that was so bad. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of everyone's way by sitting down and eating. Do you want me to pour you some soup? No, because I'm not sure how much I want yet. Okay. Eat this chicken. Well here's the soup. You can look at that for a while. And I think you're... You want snacks? You should get that box. It's amazing. Once a month, we get a snack box. <clears throat> We're going to do it on stream. What do you need, babe? sent me a DM breadstick what's up buddy how you doing welcome a DM huh oh shit you got me a spoon thank you I did put this one back I don't need your spoon where is this DM you speak of In Discord? There it is. Um, yeah, we're going to sit down. We're going to eat. I'm so hungry. Move this down here. I'm gonna sit here. And there you go. We'll put this up here. Yeah, we're starving. We are starving. Oh boy. Uh, switching to thirds in the middle of the week, man. I'm so sorry, oh, dude. I'm so fucking sorry. That is rough. Dang, breadstick. Why do they do you like that? That's the defense industry for you. Well, who's gonna defend this man's sleep schedule? <laughs> right. Um, I've been driving back and forth uh, to a jo- the job site. is two hours away this week. So two hours up, two hours back. So, not that bad, though. Corned beef is ready. I love corned beef. I love it. My dad used to make it when I was a kid, and then we turned it into hash after a couple days. 
With the leftovers? So good. Mm. This is good, baby. Yeah? You yeah, like it? I do. Another mystery soup success. I would really, you know what, it would make it better, and I wish I could do it. I can't. Um, I really like a like a, like a a glob of sour cream in it. Mm. It would make it badass. Um, Have it with some uh, cheesy bread. Oh, wait. Where's the, I want that some of that shredded cheese. I'll put some of that... Okay. Yeah, I'll just put it back on the fridge. Yeah. So. <laughs> Two hour drive, hashtag fuck that. <laughs> well, the thing is that I got I get paid for the drive. Because I don't like work there. Like I get I work out of the house, so they, they tell me where to go and I get paid for the drive. At least you have a company car. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what it is. But I did it in the snow today, which sucked. If Goblin could stand up, I, yeah, I'm an old clumsy fart. But an old clumsy fart that I love. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, man. I'm, so I just put a little bit of this cheese in it. It's a uh, manchego shredded. Almost fell getting cheese story of my life. It's a sheep's milk cheese. It's a sheep's milk cheese. Almost fell getting milk, or getting cheese should be the title of my biography. <laughs> That's what I believe. Oh man, this is good. So on Sunday... Well, see, we're doing this tonight. We usually do this on Thursdays. Um, we're not going to do it tomorrow because Snyder Cut comes out tomorrow and I'm going to binge it, the whole thing, like after work. So you guys don't get to be with me for that. So, um, For copyright law reasons. Well, no, we can we can stream it on Discord. I just want to I just want to focus on it and not deal with anything else. Mm. I've been waiting for a year and a half for that fucking thing. More, longer, five years. Shit. So, uh, we moved the stream to tonight. Um, we can do something Friday. If you feel up to it. If I feel up to it after my thing. Saturday, I plan on doing a game. Sunday, though, we're going to do Batman and Robin on Discord. What? Why is it a mystery soup? Because... She just went through the fridge and found stuff in the yeah. fridge and put it in a pot and yeah, made course. soup out of it. I didn't look at a recipe. It was just the little goblin. Yeah, the the um the loyalty badge. So Sunday we're gonna do Batman and Robin, uh, from nineteen ninety seven, uh, on Discord, <clears throat> and then we're gonna go into stream and um just rip it apart because it's a piece of shit movie. So I love bad movies. Yeah, so that's our normal Sunday night. Um, so, yeah. The movie starts at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll stream around, you know, whenever the movie's over. You know, until like 7 or 8. You know, or depends on how the conversation goes. Because I guarantee my brother's going to be there and he's going to be asking me Snyder Cut questions. So... Go lay down. I guarantee you it's going to start Batman and Robin. It's going to end Snyder Cut. I almost guarantee it. That's okay. It's our stream. We can talk about whatever we want. Yep. So. And I might, if you can convince me, I might do all of the... The ice puns, the Arnold ice puns. Um, like all of them in one shot. Like without the wheel. What is everybody having for dinner? Mm. So good. 
I know I'm it's so good. Mmm. So so fucking good. Right. What's up, baby? I'm just thinking about the soup, what I would change next time. What would you do? I would add a tiny bit of sugar to like amp up the squash flavor more. I think. Mm-hmm. Um I kinda fucking like it. I would add probably more pepper as well. And I would do a roux with... I would do a roux to start it. The sure. flour. I would do that. Instead of uh, just adding flour at the end. And then being really mad when it clumps. Who could have predicted that? I think I got the clumps out of the pipe pretty well, though. You did. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I'm glad that you did that, because I really didn't want to. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So... Oh, man. I'm excited for movie night, though. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to feel on Friday. I'm getting my COVID shot Friday afternoon. Hi, dog. Holy, sh holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you so much. Thank Hida. you. I'm going to try this garlic yeah, bread. Yeah, please do. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Oh, thank you shit. so much. Haida, how are you, buddy? What's for dinner? What'd you stream? Oh, man. Please check out Haida. Go check out Haida, please. And also, Harna, who rated us earlier. Yeah, Harna. Both of them. Check out Breadstick. Shit. And, yes. The bready, the bready man. And you get into it. You get into it's a new streamer. Just getting into it. Just getting into it. Like in person, too. <laughs> <Like> <laughs> I was playing some MTG with my friend. Kato KR. Kato KR. Kato KR? I don't know. And that's what the, they're here. We up in nice. here. Nice. Is, well, MTG, is MTG, that's Ma Magic the Gathering, right? Yeah, yeah. What colors do you guys play? Like, what colors are in your decks? How is the food tonight? Oh my god, it's so good. I can't eat anymore. I'm getting the fucking food sweats. <laughs> yeah, it's it's good. We also did a our snack box, our monthly snack box unboxing. Yes, so I have had a lot of calories. Yeah. More than she wants to. I'm doing okay. <laughs> Do Naya red, green, white. Okay, interesting. Some good matches. Dino Tribal Deck. Oh man. Some good matches, and my colors are Simic. Green, blue. Okay. Okay. Man, I haven't played in a long time. I am not up on the lingo. I have never played that game. I didn't even know they have fucking had dinosaurs now. But they have dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are so cool. I was very obsessed with them as a child and also uh, as a adult now. Dinosaurs are cool. Green, white, centaur token deck. Okay. Speaking Greek to me, gotcha. man. Gotcha. That makes, that makes sense to me. Um, Does it? Yeah. I wish I... I mean, I, I, uh, I just never got into it and I always wanted to. Yeah. I just didn't have the... You know the friends to do it. It's the same reason I never got into Dungeons and Dragons as a kid, and I always wanted to. That is also why I never got into Dungeons and Dragons, is I couldn't make any fucking friends. And actually, one of the big things that got me out of Magic: The Gathering was only I playing with fucking male nerds in the '90s. Let me tell you, they it, were not nice. <laughs> I was just like, man, this sucks. You guys are all fucking dicks to me. I'm I'm gonna go. Goose Barnacles, Washington State. It doesn't look like food, but it... Fucking token deck. <laughs> tastes like awesome crab. That's what you have for dinner? Interesting. Goose Barnacles? Fuck. I'm all about food that looks gross but tastes amazing. I know, me too. I love it. I, I'm just like, I hope it looks gross because, but tastes good. It's fun to eat that way. New follower. Oh, Thank shit. you, Wilson. Thank you, Wilson. Thank you so much for that follow. Audio oh, grade. You love D&D &D shit, yeah. I love it too. I, you know what? 
I bought a game for, like, I bought the book for a new role-playing system, and I really want to learn how to play and run some games on stream. I'm just, like, I'm so goddamn busy, you guys. Yeah. I'm, like, a third of the way through the book, okay? Like, I'm working on it. <laughs> it's, uh, the game is called... Smoky Bear followed us, too. Oh, thank you shit, so thank much. Thank you guys so much. Like, what's thank happening? Thank you so much for that follow. Yeah. Um, I got another system, too, I want to play after that. Uh, the DC... The DC oh, Heroes yeah, the DC one. Heroes. It's out of it's out of print, but my brother was able to secure me a copy. Oh my god! Oh thank my god, you thank so you much so for much. those biddies. I'm just we're just eating. I'm just eating dinner. We're just eating dinner. I'm living the dream right now. <laughs> like I I've love you guys. I, I wish I could monetize my ability to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I've always said that. <laughs> Kato Kr, thank oh, you so thank much you for that so follow. Much. Do you too enjoy watching us eat? <laughs> People are making snail egg farms. Oh my god. Can I eat it? <laughs> That's why I love Raid. Thank you guys from my side for joining the goblins. You won't be disappointed. Oh my god. I appreciate you, Haida. Thank you so we try, much. We try to have fun. We try our best. Try our best. Which is, it is the goblin way. We try our best despite our flaws. So if you didn't know, I'm gonna say it again. We have a movie night coming up on on. Sunday, Sunday, Central Time, 4 p.m. Uh, we're going to do Batman and Robin from 1997, Joel Schumacher's Piece of Shit, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, top build. It's so good. Uh, and so then we're going to come into Twitch afterwards and we're going to rip it apart because it's a piece of shit. We're going to make fun of it. We're probably going to end up talking about the Snyder Cut because he's going to watch that tomorrow. I'm going to binge the Snyder Cut, the four-hour rated R uh, recut of the Justice League movie. I'm going to binge read my role-playing game. Yes, you should do. Yeah. The game is called Vesin, uh, and it's, I think it's, it's, it's from, it's like a Swedish game or a Norwegian game. I don't know. Scandinavian of some type. It's a Nordic horror survival role-playing game. Oh. I'm very excited to learn it. I think the setting is really interesting and the, the system um, itself, as far as like, like, dice rolling it doesn't seem needlessly complex to to learn i personally am turned off by um like dungeons and dragons games where it's just about like power gaming your character and then just like dungeon oh, crawling no. yeah we got some strat i'm sorry oh shit um, who's murphy uh murphy's the dog come here come here you horrible thing um come here, little guy let's see yeah. would have been a great first yeah. impression yeah i know that's why i make it so expensive haida um, Come on. You can do it. but I oh, promise oh, wow. if Good you can boy. convince me on Sunday during the movie stream, I will do all of the Arnold ice puns in one sitting. It's like 10 straight minutes uh -oh. of Arnold. He's got a good we got treat. A, treat. a treat for the most <laughs> undeserving boy. He was so bad today. Let's get that treat going. Oh, you look so bad today. You look the worst. We had a maintenance guy come in to fix our water heater and Murphy was just like, convinced this man was here to murder me here that's a treat that's a treat oh good job good job baby he's not gonna shake for it yeah no he's like i already got it forget you plus i'm holding him and he doesn't really like being held but he likes <clears> me <throat> so he's very conflicted right now that's murphy though yeah, he's like i'm getting attention from katie but i'm also being held so how do i feel do i like this do i not like this he's also one of our you sniffing that food how dare you, young man? You want to get down now? Yeah? Yeah, I want him down. Away from my food. Oops, sorry. Um, you're hungry, you're gonna go eat. I love you, buddy. Okay. Thank you so much. Let us know what you're eating in the Discord. We want to know. Thank you for that lurk. Thank you so much. Oh, man. I feel better now that I've had food. No. Food is good. I was very hungry. Get out of here. Those snacks were tasty, but they were not doing it. Oh, hi. Now you want to come back? Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi. He's decided he likes my lap. I think he just likes the food. Yes. This fucking plastic fork. Yeah, I have a metal one right here. Do you? Yep. I got you. I love that fork. That's my favorite fork. He's so excited to be included right now. Junk food, not in the mood to cook. I'm on a time limit. You gotta go to work tonight? Oh, fair. Yeah. 
I meal prep a lot. Because, like, there are times when I'm like, I'm not, I'm not cooking anything. But I feel like shit if I eat junk food, so I, I don't like doing it. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm Jesus. getting the sweats. Yep, the food sweats. Oh, my God. But I'm going to eat this food. I'm going to pass out. Just you wait. Are you going to finish all that? Uh-huh. Oh, man. Wow. Impressive. I'm excited to take a hot shower tonight mm -hmm. that, with our newly repaired water heater. That's going to be great. Hey. Hi, killer. I woke up this morning attempting to take a shower. And it was ice cold. So yeah, I was pretty pissed. When I'm hungry and if I have any pizza rolls, I just eat them. <laughs> Tonight's dinner in the food section. Ooh, girl. So check out the food discord. Yeah. I love, I love looking at people's. Um, oh, Charlie section. sent me his in, in, um, Ooh. that's from Devastator. It's steak with two types of beans. Yep. <laughs> two types of beans. <laughs> beans on beans. All right, guys, I'm off to work. Hope you all have a wonderful night. Okay, Breadstick. Breadstick, thank you so much for being here. Drive safe. Um... I mean, let get, me... get some sleep and thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you for being here, man. Thank you so much. Let's look at this meal pick from audio. Oh, it's that. Is this that oh, calzone oh. you were talking about? The chicken yeah. steak Good. calzone? Let's see. People, look at this. It's blurry. That looks so good. Oh, there it is. Look at that fucking thing. I want to do things to that kill zone. <laughs> drive safe. Um, yeah, man. Drive safe. <laughs> Safeguard your bread stickly body. Thank you for giving the Discord link. Oh, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I am speed. <laughs> Be safe, please. We need you. The world needs bread stick. World, world needs... A breadstick. Sanic. <laughs> Is that like Sonic? <laughs> I assume so. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot wait to take a shower. I just feel like greasy. Mm -hmm. It's probably all the cheese. Oh, just Wisconsin things. You know how irritating it is to turn on hot water and not get any? Very, very irritating. Because I, what I wanted at that moment was hot water. I wanted to feel hot, not less hot. I wanted to get warmer, not less warm. This is the opposite of what I wanted. Unacceptable. We gotta do the dryer before we go to bed. Oh yeah, thank you. Your what? Yeah, it's yeah, it it's is fixed. fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. So now we're just complaining to complain. Yeah. Because the I, problem is solved. I I called while I was at work. And I left work early to be sure to be here to let the maintenance guy in. I dropped something. Rip. I don't know where it went. It's gone. Oh, fuck it. You crumb hound. Come on. Come on up if you're coming. Here it goes. Yeah, man. I usually don't let him sit on my lap, so he's just like... Look, he's shaking like a fucking... Yeah, he's... Gremlin. Trembling with excitement. Just because a cold shower is what people use to wake up in the morning. You know, I, all I need is a hot shower. I, do, I don't drink caffeine. Um, You know, I just... Hot shower and I'm gone. I what it's how i wake up i need the caffeine oh i need it i can't do cold you're a bad boy Ooh, you're so bad don't think i love you oh i do not love you you vicious creature how dare you i 
took way too many cold showers in the military. Hot showers are for sleep. No. I can only take hot showers. I've taken way too many cold showers in my life to n- ever take another one again. It's it's unbelievably. I hate it. Like when I was in the when I was in the navy, we used to on the boat, we used to have to uh you can't have the water running constantly, so with the the shower head is something like you have to hold it and push a button. Hmm. But it was ice cold. So you'd spray yourself with ice cold water and then like hang the thing put the soap s- up. and you're freezing while you're doing it. Ooh. And then you have to like warm yourself up again with freezing cold water. Oh, that sounds so great. Yeah. Wow. And, and then you have to go into a ice box of a fucking birthing where you have to sleep. It's it was awful. I hated I hated how cold the fucking navy was. I drink about five cups of coffee a day, if not more. Yeah, I usually drink uh, two or three in the morning, and then sometimes later on I'll have like a little bit of Mio. Usually not, but sometimes later on in the day I'll be like, fuck, I'm so tired. And I'll put some like Mio in my water. But only the blue citrus flavor, because that's the best flavor. Fuck all the other flavors. Caffeine free for quite a, quite a few, it's been, what, two years now since I've had caffeine. I lost at least two inches of length from the cold showers and the kitty hawk. Boilers were always broke. Yeah, Charlie was in. Charlie was in the navy with me. We used to live on the kitty hawk together. Oh my god! And um, yeah, it's oh man, two in- two inches of length. Rip, rip, reverse Tinder. I remember, I remember when all the all the showers uh, on the forward part of the ship were um like all the ba- all the, the the heads the bathrooms were uh were out because somebody spilled paint or something down the fucking down a drain so they shut all the heads down in the, like the forward part of the ship and so everyone had to use showers towards the back oh. yeah, for like three weeks or some shit that sucks one time we were out of toilet paper for like three months yeah, we, that's cool. Yeah, whatever. It yeah, completely cold. disappeared then. <laughs> oh, Charlie! <laughs> cold showers Ooh, rip. The audio grade burn. <laughs> yeah, man. You know. I wouldn't take any of it back. I loved all my time in. I'm glad I did it. There were some times I was just like, it's bullshit, but it ended up working out for everybody. It's an angry inch. We should do that fucking movie. Oh my god, it's really boring. Said it. You didn't like it? Yeah, no, I didn't. I was bored to absolute tears. Hmm. I'm gonna do a weird musical, though. Uh, The Worst Witch. Worst Witch. The Worst Witch. I would do Grease 2 just because it's a terrible, terrible film. Rent? Holy shit, we should do Rent. Rent's ridiculous. And you know who's in Rent? The guy that plays Joe in Flash. Like his, or his like adopted dad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, and he's gay in that movie too. Um, yeah. AIDS and not be able to pay your bills. That's what it's about. Gay back in the day. Way less fun than it is now. Everyone has AIDS. Alright. I'm going to put all the snick snacks over here. Teeth. Oh, man. I just saw that. Oh, I want to see that. You've never seen Teeth? No, I just saw the beginning. I literally have seen like the first 10 minutes just enough to recognize uh, the guy from the magicians as the rapist. 
therapists. The therapists. I've seen teeth. Vagina dentata. Listen, man, I wish science would invent that for me. I would get it in a fucking heartbeat. I would. Oh, yes. No, thank you. What? What? Is, use it for you. <laughs> Jesus. Not everything's about your dick. <laughs> believe it or not. When the dog eats the pee pee. Yep. Yeah, she she bites it off and like spits it out on the ground, and the dog eats it. Rip. Well, he shouldn't have put it in there. I didn't like the magicians either. I love the magicians. Loved it. That was interesting. I couldn't do it. So Katie said I couldn't eat all this food. I'm always just like, I don't know where he puts it. Where's it going? It's Harry Potter meets Narnia, but they're in college. Yeah. It's fucking college age American Harry Potter. And it's it's great. And you know what else is like an even more interesting take on that subject is the order, which I thought was like super fascinating. It was like, no, no, wait. Now it's college age American Harry Potter, but now we're blue collar and it's all about how Denim Man is going to show these liberal college students what's up. He's going to show them the way. That was so fascinating to me. I, I watched season one of the order and was just like, what is happening? This is crazy. Oh, man. I tried to watch The Magicians. It looked so cheesy. Yeah, I do think it took The Magicians a while to, like, kind of get good also. But I, uh, I liked it. I thought, oh, my God. The fucking drinking cum at the end i was just like oh my god gross what who's, oh. who's richard ramirez so gross who is that I wonder what the next box is gonna be from Universal Yums. I'm enjoying this this uh, subscription. It's fun. Yeah, it's totally worth it. Ten out of ten will continue to subscribe. Yeah, it's cheap. Um, I'm a Twitch noob. I have no idea how to reply to you. I have no rudeness intended. I'll watch. I'll watch it then. Yes. Oh, dude. Um, it's on Netflix, right? The uh, fuck. I I saw the the trailer for that. It looked good. The guy that like it, the guy that a uh, night stalker, right? He would like go into people's homes, and he and he'd like like random. Everyone was terrified, like because they ever like it could be anyone's home that this guy would break into. The entire city of Los Angeles was terrified for like, like forever. Yeah, I want. I, I did see the trailer for that. I just haven't gotten around to it. I. Uh, what is that? Uh, hate when people say oh, Ramirez is attractive. He looked like a cracked out goat. Yeah, that guy's. Yeah, he looks like a creep. Yeah, dude, what a fucking asshole. Um, you excited about Snyder Cut, Charlie? Yeah, we're... Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to put... I don't want to allow that. Man, that's so gross. I'm sorry, Charlie. I gotta let that one... I gotta, I gotta hold that one back. Um, Ooh, I want to read it. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I, I'm gonna try to because it comes out tomorrow. So after work, I'm gonna try to, to do it all in one night. Uh, I hope. 
Um, yeah, it's it's just he's a he's did really sick fucking shit. The kids and uh, I I know Charlie. It's just it's so gross. Getting flustered. Look what you did. Um. Um. There's an Egypt doc on there too. I don't. I should look that. Up. I gotta start watching documentaries again. I got Paramount Plus recently, so I've been like immersed with watching old uh, '90s television because it's it's all on there. So I've been uh, what's that Disney movie? Like finding tombs and ruins. That's cool. I've been, I've been really immersed with uh, Paramount Plus. You alright? With Paramount Plus. Alright. I think we should... Uh, I think we should kick rocks for the night. Um, let's try to find a suitable raider. You know, let's do, um, let's, let's do, uh, Chris. <laughs> True. Let's do that. Oh, you, you want to do, I don't know neck pains. I've never, I, I've never watched neck pains. I want to do So we're going to go we're going to go hit Chris terrible Jaime. He may. He may. Um she's pretty great. She does uh cooking streams also. Uh, Sunday. Her cooking stream is Sunday. Sunday, but she does workouts. She's doing. She does arts and crafts. She does fun stuff. So, yeah. I appreciate everyone for stopping she's, by. She's great. She's really entertaining. All right. I appreciate everyone for stopping by. Thank you so much. Thank you for the raids. Thank you for the Thank bits. You. Um, we love you guys. No stream tomorrow. Maybe stream Friday, depending on how I feel. Uh, I really want to discuss Snyder Cut. But definitely movie night on Sunday. Um, so, but I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye.
Audio followed her. But this, I made a master grade also. This is the only master grade I made. I usually do high grade stuff because uh, I'm. So Lucid uh, DM'd me during the thing. Lucid's only 16 years old. But don't tell me if I made it. Why? Just don't say that to me. Just don't fucking tell me. Uh, the people's support. Thank you. I don't need explanations. I don't need shit. So many. They're not on. Did I say right now? Oh, I'm not right now. Oh, shit, sorry. I missed it. Give the I mean, people's I, I, a no, follow no, if you yeah, like I'm that sorry. fitness content. Sorry. He's awesome. I'm sorry. I'm so getting stressed awesome. out. It's been a while. It's not your fault. Yeah, we, you do have to spend more time on the streams. You're correct. Thanks, Joey. They're just, they stream at odd hours. Um, yeah, it's Guardian was on this morning. Giants. I know. Sometimes, like, sometime in the morning, let's try putting him on instead of Ambient. Even though, like, to be honest, okay. Ambient's more Watch entertaining. Twitch. He is, by a lot. On your own schedule. But, like, don't even worry about it. You're going to head out for just snack in the air fryer and then watch the documentary? See you later, Brandon. Ah, oh, fuck. The camera froze. No, the camera froze. I've been having...
in the high level competition, uh, 